Hello everybody. Welcome to another better quality stream this time. Thank you for everybody who has been waiting. We have the Pixel 7 Pro and the Pixel Watch in the house. And today I'm going to be taking questions on it and typing those questions down so I can specifically answer them in a review. I thought that was a cool idea. So let's try that. We'll wait for, uh, what's up Clemente? How's it going? Let me actually grab my computer because I'm going to need to take some notes here because I know that there are a ton. Oh, hang on. I'm actually going live on TikTok this time too. I'm just going to try that out because I might as well. I've got enough followers. Um, what's up TikTok? Um, I am primarily live on YouTube, but I figured I'd try this. What's happening? Why did we crash? That's cool. There we go. Hey, TikTok, finally. What's up, Shia? Oh, wait. Yeah, Shia. Yes, we will talk about that, actually. What's up, TikTok? Um, we are primarily live on YouTube, um, and that link is in my bio. But I wanted to go live on TikTok, too, so you can guys can kind of join in on the conversation about the Pixel 7 Pro and the Pixel Watch. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. But I'm primarily going to be addressing YouTube. That is a cool name, actually, yes. I agree. Let's see. Suggestion the audio stream bit rate is lower. I don't know what that means. I think that's something I have to fix in Streamlabs. But I'm not going to do that now. It's whatever. As long as the mic sounds fine for you guys. What's up, Aditya? Welcome back. I always feel like I'm saying your name wrong, but that's right, isn't it? Um, yes, Shia. So far, I mean, I literally bought this this morning. So I haven't had a lot of time to charge and not charge. But um, I mean, as you know, devices always come out of the box not fully charged. This was like 80%. So it wasn't bad, actually. Usually it's like 40. Um, but this was 80%. I actually got a really good deal at Best Buy. I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to tell you guys about that, too, because I kind of played the system a little bit. I'm going to tell you how to do that. Um, but so so I went to set it up. What's up, Amon? An OG. Amon's been here since like the very beginning. I forget. Do I follow you, Amon? I was going to or like at least on Twitter. YouTube, I haven't really subbed to anybody from this channel yet. Yes, it's it's a little confusing, Clemente. Yes, I do work for AT and T. Um, I prefer Google Fi service though. So AT and T service is not bad. It's actually the best in the area, and it would be better than Google Fi. It is better than Google Fi. Better speeds, better whatever. But just due to complications and you know X Y Z and I don't know the system and whatever, I just prefer Google Fi for the time being. Stefan, hello, hello. I'm, I love seeing like repeat faces. I love seeing the same people coming back. <laughs> nice. Congratulations to Darth. What color did you get? Hey, what's up, Hugo? Yeah, sorry. I was, uh, I was hoping that all got um, across pretty well. But uh, yeah, I understand if you need some clarification. You do not for other giveaways. Like I'm going to give away a Pixel 4 XL. I'm going to do a 3A XL. I'm going to do some uh, some Pixel Buds A series, stuff like that. Those you don't need to be subscribed for. If you want to win the Pixel 6 Pro and Pixel Buds Pro, that one you do have to be subscribed for to the $5 a month. That's the only, um, that's the only qualifier. Because that helps me out. You know what I mean? Like, so...
Nice. Nice. I love the white one. Um, oh, I was going to try music today, actually. I forgot. But um, I always get, so I always play that, like, uh, lo-fi from YouTube that says no copyright, and I always get copyright struck on it. So <laughs> I don't understand. Um, yes, yes, Hugo, that's correct. So anything else that I do a giveaway for is fine. It's just the 6 Pro. I mean, that's, that's, that's like the full price for a 6 Pro is pretty much a whole month's commission check for me. Like that's a lot of work. So I, I definitely want to be able to at least, you know, invest in my channel a little bit for that. That's why I have the $5 rule thing. Um, cause it's going to be like someone, you know, is potent is going to get it for free. And I'm also kind of building some more momentum and stuff and being able to, you know, keep my channel going and possibly do this like as a full time job. So that's kind of what the goal is. Mihai, is that how you say it? Sorry, there's a gnat flying around. <laughs> TikTok is the worst for <laughs> for lives because nobody joins. They're all just looking for hot girls. Um. But yes, yeah, yeah, Hugo, you, yeah, you're good. As long as you're okay with possibly not winning the 6 Pro or the Pixel Buds Pro, anything else they do is, is going to be fine, so. Um, you, wow, did you just give $20? Nicholas, thank you so much. You definitely don't have to do that. That's, uh. Not not the point of uh, streaming, but I really, really appreciate it. Like, you have no idea how excited it makes me that I can potentially make money in a more healthy environment, <laughs> which is my room. Um, speaking of healthy, um, forgive me if uh, I, you know, zone out a little bit while I'm doing this today. I actually left work slightly early. I was going to close until 8, and they are currently closing right now. Oh, wait, no, it's 8.45. Okay, never mind. But I was starting to get a, um, a migraine. I was getting like a, like tunnel vision in my left eye. And then it kind of faded away as I was driving home. Um, but I wanted to make sure and drive home before it got dark just in case it got worse. So um, forgive me, but I think we'll be okay. Aman, yes. Hazel and the white looks so good. And I was almost a little bit disappointed to get black. But I've almost never got a black pixel actually by choice. The Pixel 2 XL, I got black. The Pixel XL, I got white. The Pixel 3 XL, I got white. The Pixel 4 XL, I got black because that's the only option that, that we had at the store at the time. Um, Yeah, Nicholas. Shout out to Nicholas, man. That's so generous. Thank you. Um, And then the Pixel 5, I got black because it was the only option. This one I chose black because I really, really like like the polished um like the polished chrome black. Does that make sense? So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna throw I'm gonna, you know, throw a wrench into things a little bit. Do something a little different. Plus it's the one Best Buy had, and um I'm gonna tell you about how I <laughs> hacked the system a little bit at Best Buy. That was super fun. I feel very good about myself. Um but uh, that that so that was cool. Um, shout out to Best Buy for dealing with my you know multi combo deal <laughs> transaction that I did. <laughs> yeah, I agree though. The the snow pixel is beautiful. Was it really the Pixel Two, the last one that launched in India? That was a long time ago. That's twenty seventeen, man. Oh, Stefan, I agree. I 100% agree. I love the white one with the with the yeah with the texture and the orange um, power button. What's up, Gino? Look at that awesome logo next to your name. I wasn't sure they're so small. I wasn't sure if the triangles were gonna show up uh, and look cool, but I I think they look awesome. And then if I think it's sub for four months or six months, you get the whale wear. <laughs> Whaleware, it's good for what ails you. Whaleware is like an uh, like an inside joke between me and a bunch of guys from like 2009 on a, a uh, on a forum. Some guy made this logo and like put it on like a floppy disk, and it's like whaleware. Then had all these like stupid like 
you know his little sayings for it and was like like oh did your pc not run well install whaleware like that kind of thing and i still got the hat so that's that's uh you get the the ultimate whaleware <laughs> if you subscribe for more than four months so yeah but yeah isn't the badge cool five bucks man I figured if I'm if I'm going to charge for like uh for like memberships, I might as well make them as cool as possible. Oh, no, 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 it's not French. That's I just thought it sounded cool. It's not, it's actually not my last name, my real last name, but I thought it was cool. It sounds much better than my real last name. She is getting the snow and putting a black case on it. That's so contradictory. Okay, but but the silver camera bar coming out, that actually would look really cool. Wait, uh, Canadian carriers only carry the 128 gigs? That's interesting. I mean, I've never seen more than a 128 gig in store either. For Especially for pixels. Um... But that's interesting, yeah. <laughs> Suaves, did I say that right? The Suaves or Suaves? Thanks for thanks for being here. Um, I'm actually okay with it. I have I can't even tell you the last time I, I kept a phone for that long. Um, like I'll keep them around, but I won't be using them. So I'm not upset by it. I think it's perfectly fine. Um, and plus the the five years of security updates, that's definitely going to make up the difference. I, I think we'll be okay, um, especially because, like I was saying a couple, uh, like last week, we were, um, you know, with my Nexus 5 that I've got. You can pull up the Nexus 5 and you've still got RCS Google Messages. Like you've got Google Photos, you've got everything. So the apps all definitely get updated much, much longer than the Apple apps do. The Apple apps are tied to the OS. Whereas the Google OS cuts off, but it's not tied to the apps, so the apps keep going into, you know, current. So, I think that's cool. Does my mic sound okay? Um, the stream Streamlabs keeps telling me that my audio bitrate is lower or something than it needs to be, and I don't really know what that means. But yeah, so obviously, like, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not upset. Well, okay. I, I can understand if you would be upset, is what I'm trying to say. Um, so it doesn't upset me. It doesn't affect my life uh, at all. And I'm I'm happy for the be between three to five years. Okay, thanks. Nice. Thanks, Mike. Michael. Um, thanks, Clemente. Um, but yeah, for me personally, it doesn't make any difference. And I can tell you as a retail worker, which is what, like the huge thing that's helping me with all this, is no one else cares either. Um, I, I have had one person come in and actually be upset at me because I sold. Oh, so this is going to sound really bad at first, but I'm going to clarify what I mean. I sold a lady a Pixel XL when the 3 XL was out um, for full price. So what we used to be able to do at Verizon, and this is a third party Verizon. Hey, Mahai, thanks so much for the $10. Wow, that's you guys are so generous. I've been a Nexus and Pixel fan since the beginning. It does make it a lot easier to read, though. I won't lie. <laughs> I had a horrible experience and almost ditched it for a Samsung. Wait, with Nexus? Which Nexus did you have a bad experience with, just out of curiosity? I actually never had a Nexus. I'm not going to lie. Um, I was team iPhone all the way back then. Oh, nice. So because of you, I'm giving it another chance. My Pixel 7 Pro came in last night. Awesome. Yeah. How Do you like it so far? What do you think? Hit like. Thanks, Bacon Fries. Bacon Fries is an OG since a couple days ago as well. Chris, thank you so much. You guys are so generous. You guys are too nice. <laughs> Move from Samsung S10 Plus. Love the Pixel 7 Pro. Just miss the Samsung-only apps. 
I'll get to use it soon. Um, like uh, what Samsung only apps, just out of curiosity. Because usually that's what annoys me about Samsung is the Samsung only apps because they're not, they're just, I don't know. I find that they're a little clunky. They're not, you know, integrated very well and they just, they just bother me because I can't disable them. <laughs> so remember to hit that like button. We're going to show an ad. I actually don't even know what it looks like to you guys. If I hit show an ad, it just says show an ad. So I don't know if it's like a, like a thing at the bottom or if it's like a full screen ad, if it's a full screen ad, I'm not going to do it, but Zach, yeah, you always come here talking about, um, uh, what is it? Not, and now I'm trying to say bacon fries, but, um, fruity pebbles. <laughs> I think I missed someone up here actually. Hang on. My high horrible experience on the pixel six pro. Interesting. What was the bad experience with the pixel six pro? John V, hello, thank you for being here. What's up, brother? I just got my Pixel 7 Pro watch and buds. Nice, you got the whole set, me too, because I'm a nerd. <laughs> um, I have way too many. This is one of the reasons I'm doing giveaways soon. I've got Galaxy watch, I've got, you know, obviously this one from the video. I've got Pixel Buds A series that I don't even use. <clears throat> um, actually, do you want to see something really cool? I was also given permission for this, so. <laughs> This is a Pixel Buds A series demo unit. It doesn't work, obviously. It's just like plastic glued on. But they let me keep this instead of throwing it away. It's pretty cool, right? I'm gonna, I got still got to clean it because it's still got like some dirt on it. But I'm gonna put it on my shelf. Keep it like it's a. Uh, I don't know. Feels like a collector's item or something. Um, R says, "Thank you for being here." Um, did you read about the scrolling issues some Pixel Seven Pro users are experiencing? People scrutinizing the uh, yeah, people always scrutinize everything to death, especially pixels. But actually, if anything, this has been incredibly smooth, incredibly smooth, even more so than the six pro, which is crazy to me because um, the six pro was already very, very smooth to begin with. I don't know if you'll be able to see and I've got a little bit of a delay. So hopefully, let me see, can I? I hope the I hope it's just not 360p for you guys because that's all it shows me. Because that would be really really sad. <laughs> I gotta get that fixed. I'm using my better camera tonight, by the way. That's you know that's you know why I'm trying it out again. Was it really a full screen ad? Well, forget that. We're not doing that again. Sorry guys. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know, Hugo. Yeah. Um. Has anybody had Wendy's bacon fries? At Wendy's, anybody who's not in the United States, Wendy's is like McDonald's, but classier by like a little bit, and they have better quality food, but they also serve like chili and uh, baked potatoes and chili fries. So fries, uh, chips if you're in the UK, and then chili and then cheese. Yeah, that's good. Ch uh, Wendy's is good. But... If you can see, I don't know if you can see this from the camera. It's probably going to be pretty close. Um, but the edge is sharper enough, is like straight enough that it feels like you're holding more of a square device versus a rounded Samsung device. It distincts it just a little bit from the Samsung uh, from the Samsung ones. So that's pretty cool. Sorry, I'm getting behind on uh, on chat. I'm trying my best to see everybody. Um, okay, also, opinions on cranberry sauce for Thanksgiving. Because my coworker doesn't like cranberry sauce. And my brother doesn't like stuffing. So he is not, uh, he's not doing like the, like the turkey, um, like you get turkey, you get mashed potatoes, you get stuffing, and then green bean casserole, and then um, cranberry sauce all on the same fork, and then you eat it. Best food in the entire world. Heaven. Heavenly. And he doesn't do that. Clemente, yes. Wendy's is much, much better than McDonald's. Oh, nice. Okay, good. I'm I'm glad it's showing at 1080 then. Because here on my... my, I think it's probably just showing me the preview at, th at 3 whatever. 360. So that's good. Okay. Because it's a full frame camera. It's a 1080 camera. So I'm, I'm glad. 
Um, let me see. Yeah, R, I think you're going to like the 7 Pro a lot. Like, it, it looks very, very similar from the pictures and the videos, but uh, let me tell you, when you get it in your hand, you can, it's much, it's a much bigger step than you would have assumed. Um, Michael, I have not heard anything about the Pixel 7 Ultra, but I have heard about the Pixel Fold. I think uh, Chrome Unboxed did a wrote an article on it that there was another leak for early 2023 next to the Pixel tablet, which I'm also excited for. I'm really excited to see uh, what their iteration of a folding phone is going to be. If it's going to be my my favorite rendition is somebody wrote up or like wow, how do you say it's like photoshopped like the Pixel Five, like the Sage one, into a folding device. And it's like the same camera and all that stuff. It's just folding. It looks so smooth. I love it. Gino, yes, I am. I hope so, too. I think it is. I think they're just trying to get it right, which I'm fine with. What's up, Omar? Chris? Um, but I don't like the volume key on the right. Interesting. Okay. I feel like it's much easier when it's on the left. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Especially for screenshots, I was actually thinking about that because you know you can do the back tap thing, but this, sorry, I hope that's not too close. This is so much easier than like, you know what I mean. So, um, I agree. Um, I think they're doing that to specifically not be Apple, so I understand it, but still. I read the Pixel Seven Pro screen on full brightness drains battery massively. Is that true? Awesome, thank you. I'm, yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying the videos. Um, I have, again, I've only had this for like 12 hours, but I have not experienced that. Um, actually, I charged this up fully at about 2 p.m., at about 90%. So I was at 90% at 2 p.m., and right now I'm at 44%, and I've been using it all day. Also been doing like updates and all that kind of stuff too. So the battery is is better so far, and it has not overheated. So that's also good. What's up, Scott? Yes, Nicholas, four for four. Best or lunch of champions, lunch of champions besides the chicken fries from Burger King, which are still amazing. Um, Scott, I have not tried Snapchat video yet, but I have tried Snapchat photos. Um, wait, you said photos look like, huh? I took a, a couple photos actually, and they looked, I thought they looked really good. Um, but I have not tried video yet. I'm, I am going to try that tonight. I'm actually, I actually have a Snapchat I'm waiting to reply on. Um, and I was going to send her some video and she's all Apple everything. So I'm, you know, giving her a hard time about it. And she's all like, the bezel on the watch is so big. And I sent her like the the picture from Twitter of like the the series one. It was like this year series one from like five years ago. And she was like, well, yeah, but it's, you know, changed since then. So yeah, I've been giving her a hard time. Michael, actually, I'm not sure. He he didn't specify. He just said he didn't like it at all and would not try it. And I also made sure that he tried the canned cranberry sauce, not like the organic, like, uh like one with the seeds and stuff in it no like it's got to be the old-fashioned canned cranberry sauce style and he said even that even that he didn't like which i was shocked at because i think that's the best part of thanksgiving especially on like a cold turkey sandwich the next day best food in the world um yeah no overheating issues yet um i did shoot some cinematic video today which looks really good <laughs> Um, and I think I'm going to do a short tomorrow in cinematic just to kind of show it off a little bit, but the rest I'm going to put in the actual review. So I actually have something to review. Okay, Chris. Yeah. Chris says, uh, by the way, start watch, started watching you live on my pixel seven pro at 70%. Let's see how much juice we kill at the end. That's actually a good point. Yeah. Uh, when would you, when did you send that? I don't think it tells me. Also, welcome everybody who I have not seen yet. Or said hello to yet. I don't think I missed anybody. 
Um, let me see. Volume key on the right makes it tricky for car mounts. That's true. Yeah, that's true. I have one of the, I have a vent mount because uh, car Bluetooth, don't even get me started on car Bluetooth. It's so bad. It's like we're going back to like 2006. It overheats the phone if I'm just on a phone call, not even video call, nothing. Um, so I tried Android Auto Wireless with that Motorola device, which is really nice, but it also overheats the phone. So if I'm doing just like listening to continuous podcasts and casting the uh, the maps to my entertainment system, will overheat the phone on like a trip over multiple hours. So I don't like that. Um, I think there's got to be a really easy fix, but I don't know what it is. Um, now that again, that was with, that was, you know, a while back with the, with the six pro. So I haven't tried with the seven yet, but yes, I do agree that, that the volume keys make it rough for, uh, car mounts. Yeah. They could also just switch the positions of the buttons, like almost every other phone. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is true. Also, if you're on the phone, I mean, who talks on the phone anymore, but Volume here, oops, definitely just took a screenshot. Having the volume up top is super easy. Turning up and down volume, I adjust it all the time while I'm on the phone with people. Evington, welcome. Oh, nice, you got moon pictures? We had a full moon like two days ago, so I, I just barely missed it. But um, I'm go I definitely, I wanna try that too. Because I want to try astrophotography on the phone, which weirdly they didn't talk about during the uh, announcement, which I thought was strange. What do you mean exactly, guy? Um, what's up, Uriel? Um, no, the Pixel 7 does not have a... I mean, kind of, not not really. Will you be able to see this here? It's not as it's not as uh, extreme as the six Pro, for sure. Um, hey, Seuss, yes, you can install APKs on it. I mean, it's Android, so you you still can. See, Evington says, I agree that it's a bigger step that was revealed and made by Google 22. They made it, uh, they made it seem small, but it certainly is not. Went from pixels to Yeah, yeah, I agree, I agree. It's, it looks much smaller than it actually is. Um, Daniel, thanks for being here. Um, yeah, the 7 is not curved at all. It's very, very flat, like all the way to the edge. Um, the seven is actually more comfortable in my hand. I think the seven is is kind of the perfect, um, like the perfect size. I really like that size a lot. I just I would miss out on the pro features and stuff, so that's why I got the pro. But the seven is a very very good size, and the screen. Um, I don't I don't think I would notice any difference in, uh, like quality. You know what I mean? And I actually don't even mind uh, 90 hertz. I actually would prefer 90 hertz most of the time because it uses less battery. R, yeah, yeah, I, I agree. Let's see, did you ball out and get the Pro and what storage and size and color? I missed the fee. Oh, no, no worries, KG, thanks for being here. <laughs> I got the black one in 128 because I mean, I've, I have, never used more than like a third of my storage. So the 128 is fine. Um, but I, so I traded in a 12 Pro Max for $490. And when you trade in towards the Pixel 7 series, you get an extra $300. So I ended up paying $140 for it after the trade in. And I also got a $200 gift card. So tomorrow I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna exchange my watch and use the gift card on it. So I did like a combo deal there. <laughs> Michael, yeah, that's that's usually when I have it too. But the only thing is that when you're traveling, 
which I do like occasionally, you kind of have to do all those things at once. Um, that's the thing is that then it starts like burning up and overheating and stuff. And, but like, I have to use those things, you know? Um, I do wish switching songs was easier and, qu or wait, you say easier or qu oh, quicker. Um, it's actually not bad for me. I use mostly podcasts and it's almost instant, but it could be a little quicker. There could be less latency. Scott, I definitely will do that. I'm going to do very intensive tests for the review. Summer, thanks for being here. Um, I got an NC or sorry, a spec from my, from the store I work at. I really like these cause it's like the soft touch plastic. Um, and it doesn't get like fingerprinty. It doesn't feel like, like, you know, if you get like a clear rubber case and like it feels oily, it doesn't feel like that. So I would go with that. Or my favorite for the Pixel 6 Pro was the Google cases. Like it was very, very easy to use and very uh, satisfying. That's on the 6A. Uh, Michael... Apple CarPlay is definitely better, <laughs> unfortunately, than Android Auto. Um, it's much more refined. It's it's a solid couple steps away from uh, from where Android Auto is. But if they can get like Android 12 version of Auto, they'll be you know they'll be definitely catching up. Oh no, I appreciate it, guy. Um, I have in the past, and there are actually a couple of reasons why I haven't at this point. Um, it's it kind of still, I mean, I'm definitely like a work in progress from the last few years. Um, I mean, if you would have seen me three or four years ago, I was I had, you know, almost nothing. <laughs> so I've like, I built up a lot from where I was. And one of those things that I just haven't had the mental energy or the time to take control of yet is, is weight. Um, Cause I used to use like Mountain Dew and like Red Bull and stuff like that as like, um, like the one thing I could control in the situation that I otherwise couldn't, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I, I, I definitely, I know what you're talking about and I definitely want to, um, but I just, I, I haven't gotten there yet. She, <laughs> yeah, I agree. CarPlay is, is a couple steps beyond Android auto. I prefer it as well, actually, if I had an iPhone to use it with. Um, Tim Vlog, thank you for being here. The 7 Pro is less curved than the S21 Ultra, yes. At least by a little bit. It's, uh, it's more, is tighter a good word? Like, it's, it's more refined. What's up, Qmert? I've been using iPhone only for 10 years. Plus, but after Tim Cook told my mom to buy an iPhone, he sounded so air I decided not to give Apple my money anymore. So I traded an iPhone, got a Pixel Pro. Nice. Actually, that's uh, I was I was pretty upset at that statement too. It was very disrespectful. I think um, exchanging my Pixel Watch because I bought this with I just bought it last night, but I got a two hundred dollar gift card to Best Buy with the purchase of my Pixel Seven Pro. So if I exchange it, I can use the gift card and get two hundred bucks back in my bank account but I'm keeping the watch unless I can get the LTE version. I didn't think to ask them if they had it. I may get the LTE version instead, but um, yes, I will be testing the seven and the seven pro. If I can get my hands on a seven, <laughs> I got to, I think get a paycheck first. Um, I'm a little low this month, but I'll, I, the seven pros coming first, but I definitely will test the seven as well. Um, I shoot in 4k 30. 60 looks good, but 30 gives you more options as far as like uh, speech enhancement and cinematic mode and all that stuff. And I'd rather have my full set of tools than 60 frames per second. Um, actually, that's a really good question, KG, since the screen is only 1080 or 144 or uh, 1440. You see value in shooting in 4K, yes, because some people, I mean, some people still watch on, I, I watch on a TV right back there, um, and my TV is 4K, so if something is not shot in 4K, it ends up looking grainy and uh, watercolory. 
Um, so I like to do it for that. But also sometimes it's not as much of a problem anymore, but I got I got in the habit of shooting at least one step above where I wanted to post. Um, like th- I'm talking like this is back in the day with like flip cameras and like my original iPhones and stuff like that. Because I've been editing and doing video since then. Um, but what was I going to say? Sorry, I lost my train of thought. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so if I can shoot in 4k, I know I have a really solid, strong, condensed, uh, like 2k, you know what I mean? So if I want it to look really good, I can take a step down and, and I'm where I need to be. So that's usually why I shoot in 4k. Cause it's, it's just the best option. Thanks guy. No, I, I appreciate it. I want a booklet. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Um, let me see. Why is CarPlay better than Android Auto? It is A, uh, much more responsive, much less latency. Um, B, you can use maps while you're using it. Um, on an Android phone, it says uh, you try to open up Google Maps and it says you can't open maps while you're casting to Android Auto, which is like the dumbest thing ever because I need to type stuff in. I don't want to speak like, take me to 155. Like, I, I don't, I need to, you know, go places. <laughs> um, so I do really like that. It's also is much more polished as it usually is with Apple for at least the little first little while. Um, and it's much better with giving you a lot of information in a smaller condensed space. Shia, no, uh, I'm in the U.S. We didn't. Well, I mean, obviously, you can tell because my accent, but we didn't. Uh, we actually didn't have that pro- promo. We got a $200 gift card instead. Which is a little sad. Benny Tech, thanks for being here. For the uh, watch or the phone? All right, I agree. Yeah, the 6 Pro I loved, but I ended up having to charge about halfway through the... Or not halfway through the day. I'd say I would charge it like four, just for like 20 minutes and kind of top up. So it was never a big deal. Um, and I, I, I mean, I work in a phone space. So it wasn't, I would you know it was never detrimental to me, but yeah, I agree. I hope the seven is better. And so far it is. Cause like I said, I charged up to 90% at about 2 PM today. And right now I'm at 44% and I have not plugged in since then. I don't think. So it's been pretty good. Um, for the phone, let me reread that. Battery life has been uh, very stable is a good way to put it. So not like incredibly like it's I'm not losing like 2% per hour or something like that, um, you know, but it's very stable and it's better so far. Probably 20% better is what it feels like anyway. Um, KG says, since you're a content creator and only have 128 gigs, what is your backup or transfer process for keeping space free on your phone? Um, I buy the two terabyte <laughs> Google Photos storage. <laughs> And I just load it all into there. And if I need to, I just, you know, export it and then keep free up some space. But it makes it way easier because then uh, for Canva, for um, thumbnails or for Premiere, I can just download it from photos on my desktop where I backed it up originally from my uh, from my phone. Gee, yeah, yeah, you guys are really lucky. <laughs> You got the watch LTE version for, oh, the LTE version. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, that's a really good deal. Well, you guys also got the bows for free, and we've never gotten free bows with ours. You you guys always have, like, much, much better deals than we do. <laughs> What's up, Noah? Thanks for being here. If anybody hasn't subbed, please feel free, by the way. It helps me out. Um, today was my first day with the Pixel 7 Pro, just hit 20% after seven hours of screen on time and three other hours of screen off, but playing music through Bluetooth. Nice. Yeah, that sounds accurate, actually. I've, I've had a similar experience, even though I didn't do all that stuff. I, I have noticed that it dies, you know, much less, uh, much slower, is that how you'd say it, than the 6 Pro. What's up, Ah? <laughs> Yeah, 
I mean, video can take up a lot, especially if you're shooting in 4K, like we were talking about before. Um, but eh, I mean, you can as long as you've got unlimited data, like you can back it all up immediately to Google Photos. So I mean, it's pretty easy to keep cleaned off, in my opinion. Like even when we moved to 64, well, the six the move to 32 to 64 was bigger than the 64 to 128. When we moved to 128, I was still happy with 64. I'm not gonna lie. Um, let me see. What are the other hand, Samsung and oh, are they really? I actually didn't know that. Where are you from exactly, Shia? Um, let me see, Benny. It actually is similar for the Google Store. So that one we would have gotten 250 for. I think um, it was either 200 or 300 actually. I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, I just didn't want to buy it from there because you have to front all the money and then do the trade in. And I just don't have that much just sitting around that I can, you know, let go for two or three weeks while they decide if my phone is actually worth the trade in. Um, you know. Um, obviously KG, because they want you to buy a pixel stand. Apple does it all the time. I mean, the pixels, like the original pixel stand is pretty much just as good. I actually like the design of this one better. And you get all the same features for it. You can find them super easy on like Facebook Marketplace or Amazon. And they're, they're pretty cheap now. Um... I would honestly get one of those. They're 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 really cool, um, except for the fact that you have to charge the pixel buds upside down, but it still works fine. All right, who has a specific question? I know we've been kind of like chit chatting and talking about stuff, but who has specific a specific question about the Pixel Seven Pro or the Pixel Watch that they would like to see tested for a review? Um, it is. You have to you. It it actually takes a little a little more effort than just. Actually, that worked. <laughs> Usually, I find myself having to like, <clears throat> like hit it a little harder. Um, it's annoying me. Um, but it's very consistent. Besides that, I just never hit it hard enough. Thank you, everybody, for being here too. I don't think I said that enough this stream, but I really appreciate everybody. Because, like, streams like this are super fun. Modem is good so far. Um, I have been having the... I don't know if it's Google 5. It's slow lately. Or, actually... I'm writing that one down because I want to go over that. Um, so far, the modem's been good for this last 12 hours. Um, I have been getting slow speeds lately, but I don't know if it's because I recently changed up my routine. Of my, I'm working at a different location now. Um, and Google Fi, since it does so much aggregation and trying to decide you know, what carrier is best, if it's just slow right now, trying to decide or... I'm not sure, but the seven has been better so far. Hey, Kenny, how's it going? Nice, awesome. I'm glad I could uh, help you make that decision. <laughs> it actually it makes me feel really good to because it was a risk, you know, and I think we've talked about this before. But it was a risk to kind of host those videos because, again, no rules were broken. But, you know, in the spirit of, you know, not making people mad and, you know, not, you know, doing something I didn't know was wrong and stuff like that. 
it was it was a little bit of a risk but i've seen so many people kind of you know have that same sentiment that like oh i was i wasn't gonna buy it it looked like it was a small upgrade but since seeing the videos i've, I've gone for it probably you know at least a dozen or so so i'm glad it was able, you know the videos were able to help in your opinion would the clear case look good on an obsidian or should i opt for a non-clear case i think the seven obsidian is a little darker than the seven pro obsidian am i correct in that or am i just not knowing my colors. Um, I opted to not get a clear case because the black does show the fingerprints the most and clear cases also show the fingerprints the most and would accentuate it. So I just was, you know, like, you know, give me a, give me a black case. <laughs> Today's the third day with a Pixel 7 Pro. So no, no questions. Pro. That's, that's fair. Um, the heating issue is fine. I have not had that happen. The battery is shorter than I would like, and it is smaller than I would like for, you know, being a large person. Um, but I also had to reset it midday and pair it with the 7 Pro and it didn't work the first time because I kept trying to repair to the 6 Pro and I had to, you know, restart the devices and get it get it done. So I did waste a lot of battery today that I normally wouldn't because we, we know that, you know, if you're going to um setting up a watch kills the battery. Um, KG, I did, I do have a liquid glass screw protector. I actually might talk about that too. Because normal everyday average people get screen protectors in cases. Reviewers usually don't. Tech people usually don't, or they, they do like a, like they'll get a specialized case. Um, but I do want to talk about liquid glass and how it works. Cause I, I do really like liquid glass. Um, Nabil, thanks for being here. Um, I have, n I don't have a Pixel 7 yet, so unfortunately I can't compare it to the Pixel 7. Um, but the 7 Pro has been better than the 6 Pro so far. Um, nope, the liquid glass is literally just a liquid that you put on there and you can't even tell it's there after it's been applied. Um, it's like a, it's a, it's an alcohol-based chemical that you apply to the screen and then you let it sit and cure for about five minutes. The alcohol evaporates and leaves the chemical. It bonds with the glass and makes it twice as strong. So uh, that's what I like to do. Let me try actually. Yes. works very well and it's much faster than the 6 Pro as well I even noticed that just using the 6 Pro you know occasionally as I've been copying stuff and whatever ooh Actually, I'm going to do a test really quick. So there's a shopping tab that I have never seen with these live streams, and I just want to see what it looks like. Pick a product to pin in the chat. Interesting. Oh. So ignore this. This is just, uh, I'm just kind of playing with the system to see what this looks like. Um, it is really cool to actually, the Pixel Watch uses the same sound you have set on the Pixel, but it just like pitches it up a little bit. 
Oh, I see what that looks like. So like you can tell like it's the watch, not the phone. And also if you're not using the phone, but you are using the watch, it doesn't like ding on both. If that makes sense. It's, it's sent closer to Apple that way. Cause Apple's always done really well with that. Chris. Yeah, that's, that's completely fair. It is a little bit small. Like it was saying in the battery could be better. <laughs> um, the bezels don't bother me at all. Um, but right. Can I take this down now? I just wanted to see what it looked like. Remove pin. There we go. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to the, to the, um, to the second one, to the, the pixel watch two. And I'm hoping they do a large version too. So like a smaller and a larger, like Samsung does. Um, Nabil, I have not yet. Unfortunately, I, they didn't have any at Best Buy and we haven't gotten any at the store either. I do want to order one. I'm going to, I think I'm going to order the green actually. I, so I am going to get the green case, just not the green phone. Um, and I'm, I'm going to, um, that'll be in the video too. Something mobile. Wait, were you here earlier? I thought you were. I was going to say welcome, but I don't, I thought I saw your face here earlier. Let me see. Maybe not. Maybe that was last stream. Well, welcome. Got the white band and silver. Ooh. See, I I wanted the black one because I was like, I'm going to go all black this time. Um, I'm going to do the black, you know, phone and the watch. I'm going to be happy with it. <laughs> it's going to be, you know, dark, spooky. Um, I really like it. But the silver one. I think that's the one I'm going to get in uh, LTE. 10% an hour? That's a lot. I did not use always on display for that reason. I figured it would it would, you know, wear the battery down a lot. Um I use it on my like fossil watch and stuff. Thanks, Clemente. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your night. Um, Crash, thank you for being here. Welcome. Have you tried Spotify or YouTube Music using the Pixel Watch? Yes. Um, I think, at least from my quick test, it would only work with headphones. So it doesn't like actually play through the watch, but who's going to listen to it like that anyway? Um, but... The cool thing is, let me see if I can actually just demo this right here. I'm going to go to YouTube Music. And then... It's going to load my account. Hang on, let me find my... Uh... Where's my playlists? There we go. So when you press play, it asks to pair a new device or it has your previously used Pixel Buds, which is pretty cool. Um, I did not get beyond this last time, but let me open up my Buds here and see what, what it does. Connect to Orange Boys. I'm not even sure if I'm doing this right, to be totally honest. It just seems like it's right. <laughs> I don't know if I have to maybe pair this first with this. Couldn't connect with Orange Boys. Make sure the device is turned on. I think I have to connect it to this first. Because it's showing you my, my previously used devices. Um, but, yeah, I, I have not played with it yet. But that's that's how easy it'll be. So once you pair these up, you know, you can couple taps away and you're listening to music and you're running or whatever, you know. Um, KG, I keep mine all the time. I'm not going to lie. Um, because Bluetooth helps with, you know, accuracy and um, I like tagging my locations and photos and stuff like that. So I kind of have a map of where I've been. Um, excuse me. Um, it has helped me in the past.
Nice. Good job, Shia. I mean, $12 for no ads and also YouTube music is a really good deal. Spotify is $10 just for music. So I am not mad at all for paying that. $20 for Netflix is hard to swallow, but $12 for for that, that that's I'm okay with that. Pixel 6. Hmm. Okay. Let me write that down. On um, vid you said video, right? Not photo. I guess both. Mr. Riverwind, thank you for being here. I'm de that's actually a good one. I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna do that in the review. See, but then if you don't keep Bluetooth on, if you're ever gonna use something, um, you have to go like turn your Bluetooth on first, and that's like super annoying. I don't know. I just think it's annoying. Sorry, yeah, which which one did I not uh which one did I not repeat? What's up, Lupin? Nice. Black 7 Pro, that's the one I got. I love the black chrome, the polished. Looks like Darth Vader. <laughs> Um, actually, yes, I have found uh, pretty decent significant, pretty decent improvements in the camera. Um, video stabilization. Um, obviously, I can use cinematic mode now, which is really cool and looks really good. Um, the night mode is quicker. It was not as quick as it was in the uh, demonstration in, in the Google event and how it is now um, pre-launch. So that looks much better. Okay. Let's see, official cases versus third party cases. One of my favorite, um, hang on, there we go. One of my favorite brands for cases is Spigen. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I hear everybody pronounce it differently, but it looks like Spigen to me, so that's how I'm just gonna say it. Um, let me see, Kenny says, what case are you rocking for your Pixel 7 Pro? love to see your comparison on official versus third party cases yeah so um i have well right now it's off but i have this spec case i really like it because it's this like soft touch uh plastic i also really like spigen cases a lot no i mean i have not seen that yet i mean all metal is gonna get little you know micro scratches and stuff that so i mean um I think it adds character. I, I'm not too upset about that as long as it's not cracked or broken or something. Um, but I don't have any yet. Mine's still very pristine. Uh, Chris, yes, I agree. <laughs> too many, like, uh, woke, I don't know. Yeah, SJW is a good way to put it. Too much of that on there. Although I do like disenchantment, that's funny. And I will never forgive them for ruining Arrested Development because that is the best TV show that has ever come out. I can't remember if I read that, so <laughs> I read it in my head, I know. Chris said that Netflix used to be worth the price, but not anymore. Too many SJW things on it, which, yeah, I agree with. Oh, yeah, the Bellroy leather cases are really good. So I had the Bellroy leather case for the 6 Pro. Um, I didn't end up using this as much because it like it had like this weird creak. And I think I cracked it on the bottom actually. That might be the problem. Um, but it doesn't patina like a, um, like a Nomad case does. So I really, really want Nomad to make cases for this, but I haven't seen any yet. Um, also later case. 
Shout out to Lou Later. He's one of my favorite creators. But uh, I really like the Later cases. So thin. Super cool. They're a little expensive, but it's worth it if you like a thin case. Um, I have actually, let me see what that looks like. Cause I don't really use caseology. We don't sell it in my store or we actually, we do. We would just sell it for iPhone. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. That is a nice one. I have not used it in person, but I do like the look of that one and I would definitely use it. The parallax. Oh, interesting. See, some something Wobble says, I paired that with Spigen's MagSafe Fit adapter for MagSafe accessories. Um, I have seen that, and it's really cool. <laughs> I've been a little resistant to MagSafe because I think it's dumb. Um, I, I mean, it's it's like it's really useful. Um, I don't know. I, I just I haven't tried it yet <laughs> with with an Android phone. It feels it feels strange to me. Oh, is it really the same price? Chris says Caseology equals Spigen, same brand, different line. I actually didn't know that. That's cool. I didn't know that uh, Otterbox bought LifeProof until like two months ago, too. Shia says, I'm paying for the India version. And by the way, on Android, you have YouTube Vanced, which is free. Uh, what is that exactly, actually? Caseology Athletic. I think I actually know which one you're talking about. I don't know if I'm thinking of the right one, though. Nope, it was not that one, but that one looks really cool. I was thinking of one of the... I've seen some, like, Adidas and Nike ones, like at Dick's Sporting Goods, and those are cool. Going to use revance now. Wait. Is that like a plugin? Oh, it's a mod. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, yeah. I gotcha. We just have ad blockers here. Yeah. Um, any any more questions you want to see uh, answered in like an official review testing kind of way? Yeah, the ads and background play are big for me because I use YouTube a lot if I'm you know multitasking. Go in once. Any other questions? Because this is going to be my my bullet point script for what I'm going to be testing for. I'm going out with my friend Tyler, and we're going to do some video shooting and some photo sh shoots and some headshots and stuff. Um, and we're going to do a pretty comprehensive camera review plus phone review. And he's an iPhone guy too. So I'm going to have him use it and see get his opinions on it. Um, virtual memo. Thanks for being here. Thanks for, uh, thanks for chatting. I appreciate it. Um, I think so. Yes. I have already noticed a pretty big difference between the two. Um, not just in haptics, the haptics are probably 10, 20% tighter and they feel very, very good. Um, but also in speed in camera speed and the screen, I don't even know if the screen is technically any better. But the unlock speed is much, much faster, plus you get face unlock. And I really like the edges better too, because they're more flat. It makes me, I, I don't know, I just, I like that feeling better. Something mobile, yes, that's, uh, that's a good call out actually. If you guys are curious, Whitestone is selling a glass screen protector two pack on their website. It's on sale for $39, which is a good price. 
the ones we sell at AT&T are like 45 <laughs> and Whitestone Dome is, is a, I've, I've heard is really good. I've never used their, their screen protectors cause I, I don't, I just, I don't shop online a whole lot. Um, but I've heard very good things about them. Yes. Charging speeds. See, that's why I'm asking you guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> that's why I'm asking everybody here. Cause I know I'm going to forget something stupid like charging speeds. Does the phone feel fairly balanced? Will it be easy to juggle them in the air with predictable flight patterns? I mean, if you're if you're so professional that you're juggling phones, I think you'll be just fine. Kenny, yes, that's that's another reason I've never tried them because I I don't like the the actual screen protectors either because I don't like the little like the edge on the bottom and it like flicks every time. I just don't like it. I do have the Pixel wireless charger. I actually have the I have both. So the older one, the original one, and then the newer one that just came out as well. I got the older one for free when I ordered my Pixel 3. Where is my Pixel 3? I was going to show it off because I'm proud of it. There we go. White. She's so pretty. RIP the colored power button. Zuka Sock, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Appreciate you chatting. Um, oh, you're from Scotland? I love Scotland. I really want to go visit there someday. We had a guy in here from... Um, actually, I think he was from Scotland, too. Um, what's up, Aubrey? Guys, it's Aubrey. Aubrey makes great like gaming actually are you still streaming because you used to do like Fortnite and gaming content and stuff and i can't remember if you have stopped that in favor of school but uh zuka sock yes i i think it's worth replacing the pixel 7 for the pixel sorry for the pixel 6 for the pixel 7 you will get better zoom and you will get better video and you'll get better haptics i gotcha yeah that's fine that's okay. Um, that's yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> we all miss you in Discord, and like you know, on Tiger's like once a month streams. <laughs> yes, thank you. Whoops. Um, wrong keyboard. Wireless charging temps. Tata says. Where did it go? Be good to check temps when wireless charging. Yes, I agree. Stefan, and I like how the 7 Pro has slightly more rounded corners. Yes, I do like that as well. <laughs> um, yes, I will also keep the screen on time because I think they actually don't do 24 hours now. They do since the last full charge, but I will keep track of that. Third-party apps. Stefan, I agree. I think they should bring back the power button, too, or the uh, colored power button, too. Chris, I also agree with that. Yes, face unlock is crazy. Sometimes it unlocks my phone before I put my finger into the scanner. Yeah, I've actually had that that happen today, too, and I was very surprised. I do like that it's not just a picture of your face. It's like two of them because you have to like look up and then look down. I feel like I missed something. Yeah, Tharth, thanks for being here. Um, we're not doing a 7 Pro giveaway. We are doing a 6 Pro giveaway whenever I hit 10K subs. As long, and I'm going to choose one of the somebody from the five dollar membership tier to win that six pro and Pixel Buds Pro. So, two people at least are winning. We are going to do others as well. Um, it's just not going to be quite that that big, you know. 
I got to do might do some like cases or like Pixel Buds A series stuff like that. That you don't have to be like a membership for anything. But if you want the six Pro, that you have to be on the five dollar membership for, because it helps both of us out. Yes, temps while playing games. Kenny says, "How's the temps when playing games like Apex and Genshin Impact?" <laughs> That's one I would have forgotten because I almost never play games on my phone besides like maybe Minecraft. <laughs> but now I play modded Minecraft on my PC because I finally have a PC. And I also have a PS5. Finally. Very blessed. Um, so I ended up just playing it there. But I will test that too. <laughs> Filming Mo <laughs> says it's worth upgrading from a Pixel 3a to a 7 Pro. <laughs> <laughs> no, keep the 3A. You're going to get a much better experience. <laughs> Enjoy your plastic screen. <laughs> no, the 3A, actually, that, that was a really good phone, and I am proud to say I have the purple one. I loved that purple color. That was really cool. You guys, Do you guys remember that purple color? Do I even need to show you? I'm just proud of, of, proud of it. And I've got them all sitting here because I used to do this as my own business. I used to sell phones. Compared to iPhone 14... Yes. Um, Yatharth says, thanks for that. And rate camera and video compared to iPhone 14. Yes, I am going to do that. I am going to have to. I'm So I'm, I really want to shoot video that's not at work because I know seeing the same thing over and over gets boring. But if I, I don't have an iPhone 14, so that one I might have to shoot at work. But I'll go out like in the back and shoot like in the back parking lot or something and at least make it different. Um, but I will do that comparison. Yes. Different time between charge of the Gen 1 Pixel stand and Gen 2. That's actually really good. Time. Uh, yeah, let me see. I keep forgetting to read them. Chris says maybe check the difference. Uh, time char or between charging the Gen 1 Pixel stand and Gen 2 Pixel stand. That's good. Do many of you guys have Pixel stands? Or do you just have like a regular wireless charger? I love how there's like one person watching on TikTok. Hello, TikTok. Sorry, I'm not giving you any love. We're all over here on YouTube. The 3A does have unlimited cloud storage, actually. Well, unlimited at, um, for at least a couple of years. The original Pixel is the one that has it forever. Uh, it's a good thing I uh, keep a spare around. Been white since the beginning. I've had white phones since the beginning. Yes, Stefan, I agree. Purple with the green button was another great design choice. Any three disadvantages? Hey, Anton. How's it going? He says, how's the temperature where you are? Wondering how hot you've managed to get the 7 Pro. Um, it's actually not too bad. It is a little bit warm still, but it's in, but I'm talking like 70, 72. I think today, like right now it's 52 degrees outside. And I actually got to open my windows because <laughs> it feels really good. Let me see what the high is tomorrow. Why are we not opening weather? There we go. Tomorrow the high is 78. But the low is 51. So it'll probably be around 74, 75. So it's not too bad, actually. In summer, it was like 95 every day. That would have destroyed, like, anything. Sitting out in, in that sun too long. Oh, 
Oh, Nabil says he bought an Anchor Gen 2 30 watt. Do you think it's better than the Google 30 watt? Hmm, that's a good question, actually. I mean, in theory, all 30 watts should be equal. But I also have a friend, my friend Isaiah, who I work with. Um, he he had, I think he has an anchor and it charges super fast. Like he plugs it into his fold and it doesn't just say fat, like fast charging. It says super fast charging and has a different animation. It's super cool. Oh, thanks for updating, Chris. I was going to ask and I completely forgot. I knew I was going to forget. Just as updated. It's been one hour now since I started watching YouTube live full screen 1440p on wi-fi brightness 70 percent battery from 70 down to 62 that's actually not bad at all that's not bad at all something mobile um says what's the benefit of using a pixel stand versus a regular wireless charger um pixel stand gives you uh it essentially turns your phone into like a nest hub you can put uh, like, um, oh, what do you call it? Sunrise alarm. If you guys use that where like it'll wake you up, but five minutes before your alarm starts, the screen will turn from like pink to orange to red. So you kind of like have bright light in your eyes and then it'll wake you up. It's a very gentle wake up. It has home controls from it. It has. Um, let me think. What else was I going to say? I keep getting distracted because I'm reading some of something else in chat. <laughs> um, home controls and then uh, it'll turn into like a, a photo, like a photo frame. And you can choose any Google Photos album you like or any, you know, compilation of, of photos. Which is why I have the all shot by pixel album in the $5 membership tier. So you can use that for your smart devices and then, you know, Every device was shot on a Pixel phone by the community. It's pretty cool. It's not warming up either, Chris. That's actually really impressive. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna put this through the ringer tomorrow, not just you know bring it in late to work because I had to pick it up from Best Buy. Um, but I I want to try some of this too because I'm gonna I think actually let me just download Minecraft now because I know I'm gonna play at least something. Ooh, we got a Pixel Super Fans update. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if you guys will be able to hear. Can you hear that? That was the sound and also the haptics. It sounds really good. What's up, Austin? Nice. What color did you get? I'm enjoying mine too. Um, I am going to test that, Kenny. He says, do Snapchat and TikTok videos look noticeably better on Pixel 7 Pro than other phones? So I'll probably compare that with iPhone because that's kind of the gold standard and another Android phone. <laughs> Something mobile, yes. It's actually really, really nice. I'm not going to lie. I liked it much better than I expected to. KG uh, asks, what screen brightness do you usually use or do you have a, a adaptive? I usually use adaptive. Full douchebag mode, like super bright. My mom always uses it super bright. But no, right now it's at about 50. But it's on auto, so. I've never had a problem with auto, honestly. 
KG, yes. <laughs> I, I think I went over this in like at the beginning. I can't remember, but yeah, um, I I wanted it unlocked and they had a better deal. So AT&T has $800 off, but it's over 36 months and I know I'm not going to keep my phone that long, so I'm going to end up losing some of that discount. And Best Buy gave me $490 for a 12 Pro Max, an iPhone 12 Pro Max I had, you know, that I didn't really use. And I traded that in and I got a $300 bonus on that for buying a Pixel. So I paid $140 for it and I also got a $200 gift card. So I kind of maxed out on that one. Austin says, I do not personally care for ad adaptive brightness. When I got the 6 Pro about five months after it released, adaptive brightness wasn't optimized well and was a battery killer. Um, I didn't notice the battery killer as much, but I do notice that sometimes it's either too bright or too dark. Um, I have always preferred adaptive brightness, though, ever since like my iPhone 4. I've always, yeah, it's, it's, always, it's always been something I like. Anton, yes, the white one is beautiful. And I have no regrets getting, oh, I'm using it for TikTok. I keep forgetting, um, getting the 6 Pro in white. I'm really glad I did that. Lupin asks, is the eSIM locked to the country you bought the phone from? No, unless you buy it from a carrier. If you buy it carrier locked, like for example, with, at AT&T, um, because you're financing, you can't unlock the phone until the, the device is paid off after 36 months. So therefore, it's the most redundant thing ever. I know, I wish it was, I wish I could change it, but it's way over my head. That means the eSIM and the physical SIM are both locked to AT&T only, which defeats the whole purpose. <laughs> so in order to use the eSIM, it has to be unlocked from your carrier and the only US carrier that doesn't lock their phones is Verizon. <laughs> which is another reason I got this one from Best Buy because it's unlocked and I can use it on Google Fi or whoever I want to use it with. Software bugs. Nico, thanks for being here. I haven't noticed anything yet, actually. It's been very smooth. But I'm sure I will find some things. KG, yeah. <laughs> Can't be a slave to my own workplace, right? <laughs> I mean, let's hope not. Kenny, I mean, as he says he wanted the Pixel 7 in white, but they sold out, so he settled with Obsidian. Obsidian is still really cool, I'm not going to lie. Like, the dark gray from last year I wasn't really a fan of. This is pretty similar, but it's just darker enough that I think it looks really cool, especially combined with the, like, the chrome edges. I really like it. Edvis Maze, did I say that right? Wait, Edvis. Or Ed V is a maze. He says, do you think it's worthwhile upgrading the pits from the 6 Pro to the 7 Pro? I'm on the fence. I haven't had much issues with my 6 Pro except some finicky connectivity issues sometimes. I think it is. You'll get much better haptics. You'll get much better camera. Um, night photos, night videos, a cinematic mode. Like motion mode was a little bit of a gimmick to me. I've only used it like twice just playing around with it. I haven't had much, you know, opportunity. But cinematic mode is game changing. And it's really good. I wonder actually if I'm able to, I wonder if I uploaded one. Because I was going to post a video today, and I can't remember if I actually upload it. uploaded it. Thank you, everybody, for being here, too. My videos... Hey, what's up, Zach? As someone who switches phones a lot, I think eSIM is not great. Interesting. Hey, what, car what carrier do you have? Because I actually, I would agree, based on AT&T, 
Uh, part of that is because they're trying to force the regular consumer to use eSIM who doesn't care if it's an eSIM and creating lots of problems. Like, <clears throat> excuse me, for example, once in a while, like someone will want to do what's called a shared upgrade where they're like, well, I don't have an upgrade yet, but my daughter does and my daughter's already got a phone, so I'm going to take her upgrade. But then, so normally you just do the upgrade, don't scan the SIM card and then swap the SIM cards and you're fine. With an eSIM, not only do you have to scan the correct SIM card in because it's tied to the phone, and even if you and you know even if you wanted to change it to a different SIM card, it would be an eSIM still. But you also have to go back in and change the other phone's SIM card and flip flop them manually, and it's the most annoying process ever. So, um, I don't like eSIM from the conventional sense, but I use Google Fi eSIM, and that's kind of a different story because it's very very smooth and uh, well put together. Okay, uh, how is Verizon's eSIM, uh, like eSIM process? Is it any smoother than, I, I tried to activate my Razor Flip on Verizon once and I couldn't do it because they, they were telling me that nothing can be activated on eSIM except iPhone. I was like, this is a Verizon only device. <laughs> That's the, This was a Verizon exclusive. It can be activated, I promise. They were like, we don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so, Google Fi is really the 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 one great experience I've had with eSIMs. Anton says, "I just want a, a white Seven Pro in clear case. Feels so future. It does. It it does really. It matches the white Tesla." <laughs> Yeah, the 7 Pro is definitely better, so for me it's worth the upgrade. That's what Something Mobile says. I agree. I think it's definitely worth the upgrade. JC, thanks for being here. Thanks for the love. I'm going to send you a black heart for paint it black and take it back. NCR. I would love to do a collaboration with Flossy Carter, but Flossy Carter is so much better than me. <laughs> so, <laughs> probably never. If anything, Flossy Carter needs to do a collaboration with um, Dale Von Digital. Dale Von Digital is hilarious, and he's really good at what he does. And if anything, they need to do a collab together. What's up, Rocket? Rocket, you missed um, Aubrey. She was here too. I, she might be still here, actually. She just hasn't been in chat. I know this isn't like your guys' you know topics. New Pixel Watch is three fifty. Three hundred fifty dollars. It's the one of the smoothest bands. One of the smoothest bands you'll ever use. To the one person watching on TikTok. <laughs> Zach says I've had almost every Pixel phone, and the seven is a more is more significant from the six than it appears. I one hundred percent agree. I was very underwhelmed, and as soon as I opened the box, I was overwhelmed. My my wellness went from four to like twelve. Shout out to White Shoes. Yes, <laughs> agreed. Kenny says, if you ever push through with the travel vlog idea, I hope you'll include battery percentage. Oh, yes, 100%. Yeah. Actually, the unlocker did one of those. I think he did. If you if you go watch his Pixel 5 video, it's he did, that was, I don't know if that's the first one he did like that, but that one was so good because he would be like, it's currently 10 a.m. And this is, and he gives like a little background of like where he is because he's in New York City and there's so much history. Um, And he'd be like, and we are at 85%. And he like did that through the whole day to like 10 p.m. It was super informative. So I definitely want to take after his uh, footsteps and do that. 2XL to 4XL to 6 Pro has a pretty big jump. Mm. 
Nabil says, I think Google won't compete with other companies like Samsung and others for that they are not that serious about Pixel series, but this year they did it and they showed how Android devo- devices should be. Yes, I, I definitely agree. See, Anton, that's that's where I was too. Especially with Stadia shutting down, I was still mad at Google. <laughs> but uh, as soon as as soon as I picked it up, I mean, at least me as like a phone, you know, enthusiast, as a tech enthusiast, I was like, this is a much bigger upgrade than I thought. Now, again, you may you may not agree with that, so I would stop by like a Best Buy or like a carrier store and play with it and feel the haptics and take some pictures and you know see how it looks and how you feel about it. But I think for for my purposes, I was not going to upgrade. This was going to be the the first year in since I got a Pixel, so since twenty sixteen that I didn't upgrade. And as soon as I picked it up, I was like, oh yeah, I'm I'm gonna do this. What's up, dude? Um, let me see. It says, dude, do you think Pixel? going to overtake the iPhone's imagery in the near future as our AI algorithm is the most advanced. You mean like in like photos? Or do you mean like, like the, like the public perception of the phone? I think, let me see. Oh, no, I think you, you give it one more, one or two more years. And if, if it keeps at the same pace, so if Apple and Google both keep at the same pace, they're going, Google will surpass Apple. I think, yes, it's getting very, very close with this device with the seven. I mean, I mean, you guys all saw the video. It's if anything, it's gotten better. Because of the, uh, you know, the whole, you know, pre-release, not pre-release, but um, yeah, yeah, pre-release software. If anything, like I said, it looks better now. Um, KG, I have not tried a whole lot in low light yet, but so far, not as bad as the 6 Pro. Because <laughs> the 6 Pro, like the 3XL was incredible in low light, and then from then it kind of from there on out, it kind of like took a step back each phone. And I think this one, let me see if I, did I take a low light photo in this? I don't know why my, oh. No, I don't have any low light photos on here. I'll try it though, because I close at work tonight. So I'll be there, I'll, I'll or tomorrow. So I'll be there in the dark. So I'll try it out on my way, my, my way back tomorrow. I'm going to add low light photos and videos to the list. Oh, thanks everybody again for being here. We've had 30 people this whole time. Um, Amaze, I, I'm not upset by it. I think I, I wish it didn't have to be that way. Um, cause I mean, you've got a wide angle lens, so I, I don't know why it does have to be that way, but I'm not too upset by it. it, it I just, you know, take a, a step or two back. Oh, you're talking about, uh, portrait. Uh, let me see. Let me think. Oh, Hey, she is on uh TikTok. Wait, Shia, did you find this naturally? Or did you just know that I was on TikTok? Cause if you found this like without knowing that would have been, that'd be crazy. What's up, Joe? Thanks for being here. Speech to text is quicker. I would say 10, 15% faster than the 6 Pro. Oh, you searched it? Nice. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. You get like a different angle from this one, right? You can see my other tattoo. YouTube can't see that. All you can see is Lord of the Rings. Shia gets to see Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> Thanks for the likes, Shia.
Zach says, took my SIM out of the Fold 4 and into the Pixel 7, and so far I'm not regretting it. That's how good the 7 is. 7 or 7 Pro? Yeah, the Pixel Fold is going to, especially if they do the like the 3A thing and they do like a budget level folding device, it's going to just break the market. Um, KG, um, I think, okay, so I'm going to take a guess at this. I don't know if this is the real reason. Um, I think I'm actually Dread Pirate Maki on TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you see my other, so I have two YouTube channels. I have this one and I have my, like my gaming and like personal channel, which is Dread Pirate Maki. If you find that one, if you search that on TikTok, you'll find me. Okay, so I'm going to take a guess at this, Zach. Oh, yeah, Kenny asks where, if you could find me, find me on TikTok. Yeah, that's actually a good point. How did she find me? She is a, apparently she's a stalker. <laughs> I don't know. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, yeah, the 1X thing. KG says, why does my 1X video lens look more zoomed in than the 1X photo lens? Um, I th My guess, my educated guess would be that, so if you're shooting a video, right, it's gonna be f f a full frame. It's gonna be 1080 by 720, whatever it is. If you're stable, if you're stabilizing it, literally the old fashioned way to stabilize a video was to go into uh, Adobe, like After Effects or whatever you're using and punch it in and then manually go through each, um, what, do you, what do you call it? not slate like each frame and line it up exactly with the same pixels so it's stabilized that's what the that's what the ai is doing in this phone when you stabilize a video so if you have full frame photo for full frame video it'll still be that same quality but it has to punch in a little bit to to take out the shake if that makes sense i think that's why <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Riverwind said it much clearer than I did. <laughs> Video normally is a bit cropped to get stabilization. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, it's, it's a buffer, essentially. It's super smart. I, I, I like the way they do it. But that's that's essentially why. But yeah, uh, you guys have asked some really good questions. I've loved hanging out with you. We're at about an hour and 40 minutes, and I have not eaten dinner yet. <laughs> um, Lupin, that's a good question, actually. The six pro cases do fit it, but the, so if you look at the later case here, this is a good way to, to demonstrate it. The down volume is going to be cut off by the actual case here. Actually, it's not focused. So that means like it, it's deceiving because it will fit on the phone but the the buttons won't line up and you won't be able to use it so unfortunately no get out 69 mega I hate how the report button and the remove button doesn't do the same thing. I will, Lupin, thank you. I am going to make Zach hungry again, so you're welcome. Um, I think we've actually talked about this already too, but... Um, I'm having baked beans mixed with those little sausages, um, like cut in half, you know, stir it up, warm it up, cheese, mix up the cheese and put some cheese on top. That's what I'm having for dinner. Beans and weenies, classic. KG, yes. <laughs> I'll take some food pictures and post them on Instagram. No, unfortunately, no fruity pebbles. I'm afraid to buy milk because I always let it go bad. Kenny, this is not Nikocado Avocado, thankfully. So no thank you. 
Stefan says, I think that's the only one I missed. If they can bring the Pixel Fold in at like 1300 to 1400 with a front screen, with a wider aspiration than the Fold 4, I think they have a chance. I agree. Actually, technically speaking, Scott from Technically Speaking uh, thinks that they're going to shoot for 1200 and they're going to try to just undercut and they may not use like top tier cameras like from the 7 Pro, but imagine a, well, now it might be different. This was his opinion like a year ago from a live show. But he he was saying, imagine like the Fold 3 camera versus like the Pixel 5 camera. You know what I mean? The Pixel 5 camera would still win. So that's that was his opinion. Mega Lunar. Hey, thanks for being here. Came in just at the end. I mean, maybe you've been here the whole time and just chatted. Um, but they say I showed some photos and videos and I took with my Pixel 7 Pro to my iPhone friends and they were blown away. One of them even said he, they might buy one. That's really cool. <laughs> That's really cool. I mean, like to each his own and, you know, n- neither is, you know, I prefer Pixel, but it doesn't make iPhone bad. Um you know, peace and love everywhere. But at the same time, that is really cool. I have my friend that's mad at Apple too. He keeps saying like, I'm, I want to be wowed by Apple again. I'm, I'm so tired of, of like being disappointed by Apple. And I was like, Hey, there's another option. He's like, I know. And I'm not going to do it. You know, he's being very resistant. Chris. Yeah. I I mean, I can tell (laughs) you've been watching YouTube for like two hours now. (laughs) I mean, 59% is still really good for all that. That's not bad at all. Something mobile, that's actually good advice. Thank you. He says, try lactose-free milk, like almond milk, I'm assuming. It lasts quite a bit longer in the fridge. I have considered that, but I don't know much about it because the only thing I ever use milk in is um, cereal. I don't know why I forgot the word cereal. That's really dumb, but... Um, KG, no, I did not miss your question. I've just never gone to that website, so I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Kenny, yes, Apple devices have been pretty solid lately. Um, the the dynamic island thing is the main is you know what we were talking about because it it was just such such an underwhelming update. You know what I mean? Like think of like the 5S versus the 6 or the like the 7 plus versus the 10. Like those are much bigger steps than like the 13 to the 14. The 14 is like barely an S year. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like we've gotten to such tiny small changes that we're not even upgrading like uh, processors anymore. The, the 14 and the 14 plus have the same processors as the 13. Um, Amaze battery life has been good so far. Again, only had it for 12 hours, but um, it's been good so far. I don't know why they keep offering it in such limited markets. It has to be something with stability and not spreading yourself too thin or possibly like regulation, uh, something like that that I don't understand. Um, but I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. Also, somebody asked yesterday, does Google Fit work on the Pixel Watch? And it does. It does work. Um, you can use either Fitbit or Google Fit, and you can sync it all together with Health Connect. So um, everybody wins here. Oh, so you're not talking about like, like almond milk, you're talking just... Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, cereal is amazing, but it it really isn't that good for you unless I get like raspberry granola. That's amazing. I'm not going to lie. I I really like that. Yeah, Stefan. See, like how brilliant would that be? He says, yeah, basically make a foldable A series. That would be smart. I'm actually surprised Samsung hasn't made a budget foldable yet. I agree. Like imagine an A, A72 fold or something like that. You know what I mean? 
Um, now, if Google could beat them to the punch, like imagine the 4A 5G as a foldable. That would be super cool. I'd be down for that. But yeah, thanks everybody for hanging out. Um, I love talking with you. I never want to end, but I am very hungry. Um, so I want to go eat. I'm going to run one more ad because it helps me out. <laughs> you guys don't have to watch. It's fine. Apparently it's the full screen ads anyway. If you haven't subbed, feel free. That also helps me out. And then I can give away my Pixel 6 Pro sooner and my, my Pixel Buds Pro that I won from Superfans. Um, but yeah. I see. I think there's one more question. And then we'll go. Oh, yeah. Anton, probably because the hinge mechanism is expensive. Either that or just the glass itself. I think the glass itself is one of the most expensive parts. But yeah, thanks, Stefan. Thanks, everybody, for being here. I really appreciate it. Thank you to, let me scroll back up really quick all the way, to my very generous individuals. It's not there. Um, it was Nicholas and Chris. And who else did I miss that donated? Let me see. Does it show me? I'm still learning all this. Doesn't show me who donated. That's weird. Thank you to everybody who gave money. That is very, very, very generous of you guys. I appreciate everybody. I will see you on the next one and look out for the Pixel review probably around the 20th next week. So, yeah, enjoy your night, guys. And, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you later.